Okay, good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. Uh, let us begin our morning devotion by offering uh, a bow to our beloved Shri Parents. Chonjin Champumunim Ke Kyumbe Paro. Okay, and let's invite up uh, Milhan to lead us in uh, the Chongyogok Pledge. And please feel free to read along, but keep yourself muted. Um. All right, Chongyogok Kajang Mengse. Il, Chongyogok Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangur Jungshim Hago, Ponyang Tangal Jaja, Ponyane Changjoi Sangi, Jisang Chongukwa. 천상 천국을 장건할 것을 맹세하나이다. 이 천여국 주인 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님을 모시어 전주의 대표적 가정이 되며 중심적 가정이 되어 가정에 쓰는 효자 국계 쓰는 중심 세계 쓰는 성인 천주에 쓰는 성자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 3. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 4대 심정권과 3대 왕권과 황적권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 4. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 장조 이상인 천주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 통일과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세 하나이다. 오, 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 매일 주체적 천상 세계와 대상적 지상 세계의 동일을 향해 전진적 발전을 촉진화할 것을 맹세 하나이다. 육, 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님의 대신 가정으로서 천운을 움직이는 가정이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 7. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 모년의 혈통과 연결된 위하는 생활을 통하여 심정문화 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 8. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 천여국 시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 복종으로 신인의 일체의 상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방권과 석방권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Okay, thank you, Milhan, for offering that prayer. I mean, the leading us in pledge. At this point, I'd like to invite up. Um, let's have. Sorry, give me a second. Uh, yeah, why don't we invite up uh, Luke Higuchi? Could you offer a morning prayer, opening prayer for us? Yes, please join me prayer. Dear heavenly parents, uh, to the parents, Father, thank you for all the morning devotions. Uh, we really appreciate and grateful to be gathered together every morning, send that it on Dr. Young. We offering this chong song every day from our bottom of our heart with longing heart we really wanted to see you i want we want to hear from you and we start the morning with you every day growing our spirit growing our heart all the brothers and sisters in United States and all over the world 
gathering together to move this world and spiritual world together and send that it on through Father and Tebonim in the spiritual world. And we move this earth, send that it on true mother, begotten daughter. We really appreciate to work with her and every day our uh, energy gather together to move this United States. All the uh, courage, all the uh, leaders, political leaders, we are looking for the uh, uh, John the Baptist and also we going to all the brothers and sisters reach the 430 vertical and the horizontal to be chamber registrations. They are we our chonson uh, really can reach, we believe really can reach uh, the goal for each individual. Thank you, Father. Really appreciating to send it on this leadership and send it on the Dr. Young and as well as President Ushiroda Naokimi. And then we are really uh, be together in this morning. We are ready to receive your word and we are ready to receive your spirit, Holy Spirit with Jesus and all, all the uh, heavenly parents and the true parents. Thank you, Father. I offer this morning, this devotion, uh, uh, <clears throat> prayer, uh, my name, uh, Luke Higuchi, President of Family. Ajiu. Ajiu. Thank you, Luke. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, another new day. And we're going to do our uh, 10 points of appreciation. So let's take uh, the next five minutes to share in our uh, trinities um, and share those points. For those who are listening um, or watching later, also take this time to reflect on uh, your appreciation. And if you're with anybody, you can share it with them as well. And we'll come back in five minutes.
time to break, but I'm sure it was enjoyable. Uh, this time, I would like to invite uh, Yuna Johnson to share um, some appreciation points for us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, just to share a few points that we shared in our group, because we were three. Um, I really feel incredibly grateful, Dr. Young, for all the morning devotional content, but especially I've been looking at something and like what blessed family um, lifestyle and culture is all about, and especially the eight stages and all the things that we shared and yesterday. I feel so excited about the content and what we're developing and what we can give in education moving forward. Um, so that's one thing I felt really grateful for. And this morning was reading this divine principle um, and it, it's so about spiritual growth and just felt so um, incredible how, you know, we, we receive true parents' words, we have true parents' words, uh, but really I can't imagine life without it. And I feel how important that is for everyone to have um, divine principle, which is in what, you know, why it's so important to, to witness and travel messiahship. Um, I feel incredibly grateful for this time of year, Christmas time. I'm happy to be here and back in America with our family and also grateful to have much time at home, like working from home with my family. It's not always easy, but I'm grateful for the family time. So those are just a few points we shared in the, in the group. Okay, thank you, Yana. Um, I do want to let people know that um, because the breakout is short, um, you don't need to share all 10 points, but you can share a few points each so everyone gets a chance to share. Um, with that, I would like to also invite up uh, Derek. Uh, he um, was in my breakout too, and uh, it was just, um, yeah, just a few appreciation points. He's calling in from California, so it's a nice 3 a.m. there. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to give him a chance to share as well. Uh, if you can unmute yourself, Derek. Wow. Okay. Um, thank you, now Kimi Sun, and good morning to everybody. Yikes. Okay, I'll just share what I also expressed with. Uh, I was honored to meet Yano Johnson for the first time, and and. Now came me something for the first time. It's so awesome. Uh, in general, one real clear point I clearly clearly told them I'm so, so, so grateful to really be aware that I've been living totally an unfilial type of heart my whole life. And well, maybe maybe not my whole life, but to just the awareness of it, then thanks to Dr. Young uh, we send him uh, for the telling us and reminding us and it's so obvious and so true and it just the awareness of knowing the the path that we've been walking and well you think we know something and it's so conceptual but uh yeah and it's just uh, heartwarming to know that god is gracious and we can live and have an opportunity to undo the things because uh it helps to see all the ramifications of the the poor standard the poor life we've been living in the continuous aching heart we continue to provide, well, to put on our heavenly parents and on our true parents. And uh, and so, well, just grateful to move forward and continue and not give up. And I, I, that's all I want to share for now for time. Thank you. So much, Derek. Yeah, again, I appreciated your, your openness to share. And I want to just acknowledge you again. Um, you're you're still here despite the challenges and uh that's a that's something that uh comforts god to see uh, everyone actually who's tuning in uh, sometimes it's challenging to hear truths um, but it can help us grow if we're willing to work through it so um actually we do have a little bit more time so maybe milhan uh you can choose one person i choose reverend stephen gab was in my breakout. Hi. Uh, yeah, such a short time, but anyway, I would like to just really recognize <laughs> the way that God has worked in my life to bring me yeah. here to the principal. Uh, 
bring me tears when I was 14 years old, which I hadn't, couldn't understand. And that helped me to understand later that God was a God of, of sadness, of the cir circumstance. It also, uh, recently with this morning devotion that has really awoken up many things in my heart, and I'm really grateful for that, even though it's many times quite a judgment to hear the standard that we are expected to, to get to. Um, but that's a, a, a powerful thing in our life. Uh, I'm most grateful actually to our couples uh, for the 450 uh, couples in the Philippines because through them I could actually experience God through them seeing their, uh, their innocent heart and response and a willingness to go through 40 days and three days. And, and that has, of course, helped us and elevated us. But we are so grateful to them for their response and uh, for those couples who can receive true parents, sometimes without a lot of education and be willing to go through this path uh, of 40 days. I, I'm really grateful to them and uh, I'm grateful deeply to my wife for constantly being with me all these years. It's uh, almost 40 years now. So thank you. I'm really grateful for everything. Um. Thank you, okay. thank you, Gab. Thank you so much. Yeah. Welcome, Dr. Young. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much for for sharing. Forty years—that that must be some kind of condition, right? <laughs> I hope more than more than a condition. Uh, but um, yeah, thank you for your wife as well. So, with that said, I'd like to invite up uh, Dr. Young to lead us in our morning devotion. Let's welcome up uh, Dr. Mm. Young. Mm. 안녕하세요. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from all over the world, my dear brothers and sisters. 안녕하십니까. 오하여 고자이마스. So, uh, you know, whenever we have the uh, breakout session, it's really inspired to hear your appreciation. I really, really happy to hear from our dear brothers and sisters. Um, today, also, the I'd like to talk about a very important topic. One of the our true uh, father's guidance. Today, I'd like to talk about the eternal, the eternal golden age. Based on father's word. When okay, when was my golden age in the past? When is my golden age in the present? When will be my golden age in the future? It's a very, very important question. Okay. Did you have the golden age in your past? And you don't have it yet. Are you sure you can have your golden age in the future or not? So we need to understand what does a golden age means centering on our true parents' word. And then Father said, even though God is absolute and unique and eternal and unchanging until now, true, uh, uh, due to the human fall, he has not enjoyed an eternal golden age. From now on, the eternal golden age will begin thanks to true parents victorious foundation of restoration through indemnity. So under the era of the indemnity, God could not meet the, uh, a, the golden age. However, when true parents came to the earth as the Messiah, as the true parents, he paid back all the debt. He paid all the price by indemnity from individual level to family level, family level to national level, national level to worldwide level, until culture level, horizontal age stages. 
And also he paid the indemnity cost vertically eight stages from servant of a servant, servant, adopted son, and real child, and, you know, and then, uh, and then and mother and father, and then, you know, cosmos and God. Vertically A stage and horizontally A stage, our true parents paid all the prices. Then father finally proclaimed that the era of the indemnity is over. I already pay everything. That's why our true parents finally laid the foundation on the earth and then through parents proclaim the foundation day. Foundation day means already laid the foundation, already paid the price. That's why we thanks to true parents, victorious foundation of restoration through the indemnity. Without paying the indemnity, we cannot have a chance to enjoy an eternal golden age. So, since our true parents pay the indemnity cause, we can greet an eternal golden age. If we establish the substantial chanilgu, God will enjoy an eternal golden age when there will no longer be any sorrow or pain. Yeah? So, God could not substantially see yet without finding, without establishing God's substantial channel go. That's why when we establish substantial God's channel go, and then God can enter the eternal golden age forever. From now on, for the first time in human history, human beings enjoy the eternal golden age while true mother is alive. Wow. Can you imagine about that? True mother proclaimed the foundation day. And then now we are uniting together to establish a substantial gaju chanilgu. And then mother already gone through the sec first seven years course, and now mother proclaimed the second seven years Chanilgu course. So now this last seven years course is really incredibly important time period. This kind of time never come again. Throughout God's eternal history, the most important time is from now on, second seven years course. Hmm? So that's why in my life, in your life, okay, God's history, or even our true parents' history, the most important time period from now on seven year Chanilgu course. This one will be our eternal golden age while our begotten daughter, heavenly begotten daughter is alive with us. That's why my dear brothers and sisters, you need to understand one point very clearly. Seven years course from now on, now it's only six years left. This six years, wow, I cannot explain how much important it is. You know, everything bear fruit within seven years course. We need to establish about the ideal tribal level, ideal people level. Finally, we need to establish substantial chanilgu on the earth. No, centering on true mother. That's why true mother is very, very serious. God is very, very serious. Our true father who is in spiritual world is very focused on true mother's providence. So now we are entering the era of the eternal goal, a golden age. 
That's why many people do not know God's timetable. What is God's timetable now? Where are we now? Oh, this is a really important point. Where are we now? Our true mother already 77 years old, going to be 70, 70, 80 years old, already near to 80 years old. So, so far, true parents spend so much time to pay the indemnity. However, now indemnity is already over first year, first seven year course already, uh, already passed. Now is that we are entering second seven years of course in terms of the mother's age also. This is a really, really crucial time. Also at the same time, this is really, really the eternal golden age. That's why as a blessed family, as a unificationist members and brothers and sisters, when you know current God's timetable, which is a eternal golden age, I think we really, we don't, we, we cannot think any other things. We really totally invest. We totally offer what I have my energy and my love and, you know, any, any, my strengths, I totally have to put. Otherwise, even though God's eternal golden age has come, but you do not know the timetable, you do not know anything, you do not do anything, and then finally go to spiritual world, you will regret eternally. That's right for me in my life. I am 63 years old. After seven years, 70 years old already. Wow. Entire my life, centering on eternal history in my life. This is the really, really golden time. Never come again. Even though you are 20 years or 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, this time period, even your baby, even your baby now one years old, this baby has a golden time because of living together with the mother, final God's providence. That's why we are how much lucky people living together with the mother, centering on eternal golden age. Let's uh, read the Father's word. Very important. This is really important content. Today, I think major content is here. Father said, how, we do, how do we characterize the golden age? In the Chinese character for golden age, Chen Song Shide. The, charac uh, the characters for Chen Song means whole and, and accomplishment. It means to become uh, prosperous by accomplishing everything. Therefore, the meaning of Chang Song Shide is the time to become prosperous once everything is accomplished. And then expand it to the society, the nation, and the world. It is because it is not possible to unite the world and accomplish the golden age merely with the national level fortune. It is possible only through heavenly fortune. Then, who can move this heavenly fortune? God can move it. Once you greet the golden age due to heavenly fortune from God, you need to put God at the center. Only then can proper order on the world level be established. So, I want to explain more detail. How do we characterize the golden age? Number one, Father said, God's golden age is the time to become prosperous once everything is accomplished. And then expand it to the society, the nation, and the world. Wow. So now time has come. 
our true parents providence can become prosperous from the society and then national level and then worldwide level so God's providence can expand expand to the tribe and nation finally to the world when you feel God's providence can, can, can connect from individual level to family level, family level to tribal level, tribal level to society level, society level to people level, people's level to national level, finally from national level to worldwide level, reach worldwide level, Father said, this is the time of the golden age. Need to know very, very important point. Huh? Golden age need to connect to the world providence. Need to connect to the world. God sent the Messiah Jesus. Bible say that John 3.16. God loved the world. That's why he sent the Messiah. Not particularly centering on individual or family or centering on particular religion, some denomination. God loved the world. Love the world means God has a total salvation. His concept is a total salvation, not just only in individual or family or tribal or nation. His broad concept is what? Total salvation. So how can we enter the God's golden age? Your providence, you need to connect to the world, then you can enter the golden age. And also, Father said, the golden age to unite the entire world cannot make by national fortune. So, just you, 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 you make, uh, yeah, you receive just a national fortune level. You cannot receive the golden age. You cannot meet golden age. That's why your thinking, your goal, and your vision, your action, your mindset, everything centering on the world. National fortune cannot move the, you know, or the global fortune. We need to know about that. How can I, how can I meet God's golden age? We need to receive the heavenly fortune. But this heavenly fortune is based upon worldwide level. Father said, it is possible only through heavenly fortune. Then, who moves the heavenly fortune? Father said, he is God. Then, God through whom? God is invisible God. He needs to walk through somebody. He cannot walk through the fallen being, fallen man. You know, even though Heavenly Father bringing Heavenly Fortune, God cannot do anything without His object partner. God needs to have His object partner who doesn't have any sin. God's object partner is a only through the, his only son, begotten son, and begotten daughter. That's why heavenly, how moves heavenly fortune through begotten sons and daughters. However, our true father already gone. That's why I am telling you, true mother is now the center of the heavenly fortune in this era. True mother is a begotten daughter. True mother completely united with the father, completely united with the heavenly parents. 
That's why any heavenly fortune coming, coming to me through our true mother who is begotten daughter. Many people need to know that. That's why mother said, you unite with me, this is the key. Bringing family fortune, tribal fortune, national fortune, even you know, global fortune. Wow. We need to know this point, very important. True mother is a center of a heavenly fortune. She is the one who always carrying on heavenly fortune. Therefore, mother said, if you unite with me, if you unite with the true mother, you can receive heavenly fortune. Those who do not unite with the mother, no way to receive heavenly fortune. That's why the best way, centering on current era, was the best way to enter God's golden age, was the best way to receive heavenly fortune. Key is here, uniting with the true mother. That is actually top secret. Then you can receive heavenly fortune. So how can we convey this kind of heavenly fortune to everybody? Let them know who true mother is. That's why our true father who is in spiritual world focus on mother. Even heavenly father also focus on mother. Entire spiritual world, our ancestors focus on true mother. So we also need to focus on true mother. True mother is mediator. TM, true mother, true mediator between God and human being. That's why you need to know that. You know? Heavenly fortune come from where? Come from true mother. Therefore, you need to put God as a top priority spiritually. At the same time, you need to put from mother as a top priority realistically and substantially. That's why you day and night need to think, what is the mother's concept? What does she think? What is she going to do? What's her wish? What's her dream? What she asking me to do? Everything centering on true mother. Saint true mother is the center of the heavenly fortune. That's why when we unite with the mother, then finally we can enter the God's golden age. Are you? Very important. If you unite with the mother, only then can the proper order on the world level be established. Wow, amazing. Yeah, this is really amazing. Once again, if you unite with the true mother, only then can the proper order on the world level be established. Because mother, she's the one who arranged very clearly was the vertical alignment, was the horizontal uh, the situation. She is the one who giving very, very clear direction. That's why when we unite with the true mother, only then can be proper order on world level be established. Without uniting mother, everything will be confused. Individual level, you will be confused. Family level will be confused between husband and wife, between parents and child, even national level, worldwide level. Who is the solution? True mother is the solution. Hmm? That's why God's golden age is the time to become prosperous. Once everything is accomplished, and then expand into the society and nation and world. So mother came, not just on a family level, not just on a national level, mother, Messiah came to the, came to the earth, you know, to save the world. Her, her final goal is to save the world. That's why in order to receive, you know, but, uh, in order to, you know, to meet God's golden age, 
our thinking, our concept, our vision, centering on centering on a world. This is very important point. Do you want to enjoy golden age for eternity? If you live with heavenly parents, you will enjoy golden age for eternity. Substantially, if you live with true parents, you will enjoy golden age for eternity. Since God is absolute, unique, eternal, and unchanging, if you live together with him, together with true parents, you are bound to live in a, in a golden age throughout your life in eternity, whether it is your past or your present or your future. Very, very important. Huh? As long as God is with me, as long as I live together with a true mother, true father, true parents, that is the time of your golden age. Whenever you spend time with God, with the true parents, you are already living, centering on God's golden age. Even though, oh, my golden age was like 30s or 40s or 60s, many people are saying that this is centering on external world. When is your golden age? Our golden age live together, spend together, work together, participate together with God and true parents. This is actually my golden age. We need to understand that way. If there is no God, if there is no true parents, even though we are working very, very hard in our side, there is not your golden age. When you look back into your past, when you were with God, the more you look back, the more beautiful it is. Your present with God is more beautiful than your past because you can feel his presence all the time. And your future with God will be more beautiful than your present because your dreams will come true and your actual deeds of true love will be accumulated. Wow. That's why those who are living with God, those who are living with true parents, your past was a golden age, your present also your golden age, your future, future also golden age. That's why the issue is, do I live with God or not? Do I live with the true parents or not? So when I live with God together, participate, participate together, breathe together, working together, communicate together with God, with the true parents, you are already entered your golden age. Then my entire life, even earthly world, in spiritual world, your entire life will become what? Your golden age. Because God's nature is what? Eternal, unchanging, absolute. Once you enter, okay, uh, God's realm, and whatever you do, become what's that? Your golden age. Wow, how, how beautiful, how true father this cry, you know, this kind of things, really amazing. That's why for you, no need to think, oh, you know, I want to love, work so hard, I invest so much now, no more battery now. <laughs> so difficult. My dear brother senses, God is eternal. If we work together with God, you when, when you think about God's heart and true parents, we cannot say, I am tired. A golden age has nothing to do with a person's age. 
It has nothing to do with one's physical attractiveness, material prosperity, uh, pro, uh, prosperity and or popularity. Living with God is living in a golden age. As those who are in golden age grow older, they become more and more beautiful as they reach maturity. God is eternal. Oh, always God is with me. That's why your age becomes 60 years old, 70 years old, 80 years old. As long as you are living with God, you are living in a golden age. Aju? That's why even though you, or you're getting old, become so beautiful, become more maturity. You reach to divine spirit, divine spirit and can embrace everybody, can embrace even your enemy, your family, your neighbor, your nation, even can embrace entire world. Different color doesn't matter, different nationality doesn't matter, different denomination doesn't matter. In the name of God, you can embrace everybody, entire world, because your spirit become maturity, has maturity, and reach it already divine spirit. You can embrace everybody. That's why how can I reach it to divine spirit? Forming spirit, always working by condition, by duty, unwillingness. But you know, God, you know through parents. That's why what I, did, I need to do. You need to push it by yourself. But unwillingness, everything, do by duty. No choice I have to do, no choice I have to do, no choice I have to do. This is a formation stage. Your spirit is a form spirit. Even though you receive a blessing, your spirit is still form spirit, form, formation stage. Then what is the growth stage? Life spirit. Really initiate, you know, by yourself. Of course, sometimes you need to overcome. Sometimes certain limitation, but always your life's always living for the sake of God, living for the sake of true parents, need to try to serve everybody, but still there is some limitation. But you are still, but you are level still very much only the closer stage. And many people respect you and follow you. However, when you reach it to Divine Spirit. God always with you. True parents always with you. Many people testify that. Seeing you, seeing God. Seeing you, seeing God. Seeing you, Seeing through parents, even though I cannot, I cannot meet through father, but through you, I can guess who true father is. I can guess who true mother is. I can guess what God, what is God's intention and God's desire. Wow. Need to reach to divine spirit. Divine spirit. When you reach divine spirit, there is no enemy. Those who are formation stage, form spirit, heart is very, 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 very narrow, very, very small container. If we have a small can container, if you invite God, God cannot please because your container very small cannot please. And that's why God needs to run away from you. But you have the big container. You can embrace your tribe. You can embrace your people. You can embrace your nation. Even you can embrace entire world. Even you can embrace the cosmos. Even you can embrace even heavenly parents. That's why one who have divine spirit, all the level is different. Hmm? All the level is different. All 
always try to console God's heart. Always try to comfort God's heart. Always think about God, think about truth. And then tears and tears and tears. One who already become divine spirit, never cry for my own self. And those who are life spirit always cry for others. But those who reach the divine spirit, and then his entire goal is, how can I console God? How can I comfort God? How can I liberate God's sorrowful heart? If we reach that level, God is you, God is with you all the time. Therefore, your life is living in a, in a golden age. Does that matter you are getting old, you know, younger or older or in spiritual world? 24 hours, 365 days beyond space and time, you are living with God, then you are already entered in a golden age. Are you? Even when you go to the spiritual world, as long as you live together with God, you will live in a golden age for eternity. I live in a golden age every moment, every day, every year. Now is as good as eternity. So, when is my golden age? When? Where? Now and here. My topic is here. My main thing. Where is my golden age? When? Where? Now and here. With God. Do not, do not regret your past. Do not think too much of your future. Where you can find God now and here. So God's golden age should be centering on now and here. Every second, every moment, every day, every week, every year, 365 days, entire my life. Everything begins from now. From now. And then where? Here. Here now. Very important concept. Oh, I can do in the future 10 years later, 20 years later. No. Your golden age needs to begin from now on. Now. Where? Here. Now and here. Are you? Very important point. Don't be sad because you are getting old. The more much you become, the more you'll emit God's scent. God's scent is what? Smell of a true love. Now, not bad smell or not chapter to smell. Huh? My dear brothers and sisters, that's why when I research Father's word, I am so inspired by, by our true parents' word. Always I can get strength and power. Do you think so? Father's word. The 400 year golden age of uh, uh, Christianity, just a moment. The 400 year golden age of uh, Christianity, based on Saint Paul's uh, dedication and sacrifice, Christianity caused the people like uh, tribes during his time and people like uh, Jesus' 12 disciples and uh, Israelites to arise up from the individual to the whole, everyone become one and fourth beyond the place of death. 
So they could occupy the Roman Empire. And it, uh, it resulted in the prosperity of Christianity for four centuries. Christianity could greet a golden age centered on Roman uh, what the curia in the Middle Ages. Consequently, Christians have ruled the entire world. Wow. You know, when was the golden age of the Christianity? Since Jesus died, 400 years. 400 years of golden age. At the time, of course, all, all kind of persecution. People insult Christianity. Incredible torturing. You know, they, they become the food of the a lion. How many people were killed? However, throughout the uh, two, last 2000 history, we, we, we understand that the 400 years was uh, Christianity's golden age. So, uh, and then now, you know, true father already paid the indemnity now our unification movement. Uh, before the paying indemnity, we cannot have the golden age. Actually, our golden age started since our true parents proclaimed Foundation Day. Foundation Day. Before that, under the era of the indemnity. After the era of the indemnity, actually already began God's golden age. We need to know about that. So now, i really so excited when I about to hear the mother's word that since uh, Mayflower ship landed in America, this year became 400 years. This is 400 years separation from Satan and the paying the indemnity. So I'm so excited. So from next year, 2021, I think really incredibly transformation from internal. In internal means what? From able side, from our movement. I am telling you, until now we are so much suffer and overcome and on and on, so much difficulties. But now America time has come golden age after paying indemnity externally, after 400 years past, since Mayflower landed in America. And the next year, another, another or is it new, new completely new era, new time. Can you imagine? That's why after, you know, uh, Korea uh, but paid 40 years in indemnity from 1905 to 1945 from Japan. Father said, Korean 40 years in indemnity is like uh, 400 years. And then after 40 years of paying indemnity in Korea, 1945 to 1952, seven years of course, is the most important time period Christianity need to welcome the Messiah but fail so now in America after 400 years course next from 2021 seven years course the America movement unite to mother except God's begotten daughter completely unite together I do not know what will be happen within seven years. Maybe we can restore nation of America. You need to know the God's timetable, how much amazing it is. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, this kind of the amazing time never come again. How can we create a vision for a restoration of one nation? God's wish is what? How to restore one nation, one sovereignty, one people. Here, I really love this Bible verse. You know, even when we talk about the second coming and then this Bible verse is one of the very important content to introduce the people. The Bible, Amos, 
37. Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophet. I can change a little bit. Let's just say, surely the Lord God, surely the true parents, surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret. His secret means what? How to become successful tribal messiah? How to restore one nation, one subject, one people to his servant, to his blessed family, the prophets. That's why God always show in some way, show the model how to do it. He show, he revealed God's secret how to become tribal messiah. How to restore 430 couple? How to restore the Christian in church, clergy? God revealing always his secret to his servant through some, someone's blessed family. Some, some blessed family. God always in some way show the model revealing the, his secret how to do it. Yesterday, uh, you can see the tribal, tribal net how Thailand be become the model, and then, you know, model, model individual, model family, model tribe, and then model about the, cover, the, the governance, model, 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 model well, the, the state level, and finally, model nation. Now, Thailand, you see now, entire 77 province, now made the MOU with, with the Family Federation, now become national project, our family movement. Can you imagine about that? If now already start now already, entire government, state leaders, governors, and vice governors support our family, family federation project become government project, even they spend their own budget. Can you imagine Thailand happening already? That's why, oh, America difficult, Africa difficult, South America difficult. Do not say it like that. Bible say here, surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servant, the prophet. That's why we need to know where, God, how God revealed his secret. Where? In somewhere. Philadelphia, Alaska, Washington, D.C., Maryland. You know, where? You know, where? Florida. In somewhere. God definitely show how to break through, you know, our HTM in some churches through ACLC. How to break through tribal messiahship in one of the Christian church. God will show through someone definitely through of the place of family. Very, very important point. That's why I love this Bible verse. Even though we say impossible, we say it very difficult. But God always show the model. God always reveal his secret to somebody. That's what we need to find. We need to resemble. We need to copy. We need to inherit. And then we need to practice in our area. Follow the example of the model course. You know, Moses need to follow the course of the Jacob. Jesus need to follow the, the course of the Moses. Our two parents need to follow the course of the, uh, the Jesus, and we need to follow the course of the true parent. This model we already learned from part two in divine principle. Without model, without model course, we cannot uh, we, we cannot uh, that uh, 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 the rest of one nation. That's why I talk to now Kimi. And then all the our sub regional leaders and main staff quickly let's make the model educational system. I I really my heart is really very urgent. Need to do urgently make the model educational system and content. What's the process of the education? Uh, our ACLC, our UPF, Women Federation, YSP, CUB, whatever. We need to make the model system and then model education content. And then this one really work and then become the model of the world. God surely show in some way. God surely reveal somewhere. <clears throat> 
follow the example of the course of Christianity, which became the official religion of Rome. <clears throat> Father said, how will we restore our nation? In order to do so, we need model nation. How the model nation cannot emerge without model ethnic group? In order for the model ethnic group to emerge, there need to be model tribe. In order for the model tribe to emerge, there, there, uh, there needs to be a model family. And in order to, for the model family to emerge, there need to be a model individual. Wow, very clear. That's why my dream, my goal, how can I become model individual? How can I become model family? Now next level is what? How can we make model tribe? Without model tribe, impossible to restore one nation. That's why Father emphasizes your level now already. I place you now become model of place family, model individual already. Based on that foundation, what the next? Next is what? How to make model tribe? Wow, Father. Do not push us all of a sudden, step by step, one by one. That's why each blessed family need to make the model tribe now according to Trumada's order in each Christian church. We need to do our model tribe in Christian church and then become model ethnic guru. Finally, we can establish a model nation. I already last time about explain about through the Sunday service. I want to remind again you, this is very important. Following the model course of the Rome, adopting Christianity as its official religion. Israel. This is a you know, second uh, the this is a first Israel. Father said, America, Christianity, second Israel. Then Rome was a representative of the first Israel. Then America, you need to know that, America is representative of second Israel, Centurion Christian Foundation. So Rome showed a model how to, how they adopted Christianity as its official religion. That's why we need to find, we need to find the model through the Rome, the course of the Rome, model course of the Rome. And then we adopt the same principle, same method, the same course. Then we can restore the nation of the United, United States. See, look at here. Uh, Constantine the Great. What motivated Constantine to believe in Christianity at first was because he saw bright cross above the sun when he fought against the Mexican tears at the uh, Milvian Bridge in the outskirts of Rome. He has a spiritual experience. I, I read all the Christian history, you know. He has a beautiful spiritual experience. He met the Jesus and then finally win that war. And then based on his experience, he adopted Christianity as a state religion in 313 AD. Important thing is, you know, to, you know, to, you know, to make the model through the Christianity uh, centering on Rome, at the time, the Christian population at the time was not more than 10%, important. So you know to restore one nation, one century, one people, at least we need to have a minimum 10% of the population. That means in America, 360 uh, million people. That means 36 million people at least need to be blessed family. 10% minimum condition, 10%. 10% why is it important? 10% means the number of the tithing. When we offer the tithing, 10% means I offer everything. That is the condition. Tithing means even though I offer 10%, but I offer 
everything what I have. That's why number 10 is the number of the restoration. That's why our goal, 360 million people, 10% is what? 36 million people. How can we bless, let them become blessed family, minimum 10% of the American population? Then here, Constance's mother was a Christian. You know, Christian people very clever at that time. Even though they got so much persecution, they know without restore the, you know, uh, the high level people, government people cannot restore the nation of the Rome. Cannot. That's why Christianity, even though they got so much persecution, their main target is what they are? focus on VIP. Witness John the Baptist. They are very clever. You need to study about Christian history. I study about that. And then Christianity witness Constantine's mother. And then she become Christian. And when she deliver baby, Constantine, and raise up him with the Christian spirit and educate him. Jesus is your Lord. Jesus is the Lord, your Lord. You have to become politician. Someday you need to become the, uh, you know, the great king in the, this Rome. Mother, educate him. Finally, he has a spiritual experience. And then what? He adopted Christian as the state of religion. That's why Christianity witness to the Roman uh, aristocracy and political leaders regardless of the uh, persecution. And then finally, uh, you know, uh, the empire Theodosius adopted Christianity as, as the state religion in 392 officially. That is the model, cause of the Rome adopting Christianity as each official religion. So, America, how they accept unification movement as the, as the official movement, need to follow only the Christianity show. Father said, the mission of the Christianity was to pioneer the worldwide stage of the restoration provide. The Roman Catholic Church had a mission to fulfill. They should have the pioneered one direction in which to advance. That is, the worldwide stage beyond the national level path of the Col Kolkota. This is very important. I, I, I'd like to mention again. Okay, read, read again. The Roman Catholic had a mission to fulfill. They should have pioneered one direction in which to advance, that is the worldwide stage, not national stage, not tribal stage. The worldwide stage beyond the national level, path of the Kolkata. So however, they did not know about this and were driven by their strong desire for a uh, national ideology. That's why heaven struck them and through the, uh, uh, what's that, Nunesians, heaven not only broke their outdated consciousness through the religious reformation, but also led the Vatican to fundamentally driven out. Thus, they headed toward collapse. Wow. Do you know why Christianity collapsed? They are thinking their own national ideology. Oh, Christianity, our own ideology. They think only within their nation. That's why they perish. Therefore, our American movement, our nation of the America, our stage is the worldwide. We need to focus on total salvation for the sake of the world. Then America never collapse. 
이 포, 아메리카 다지, 이거, 이, 다지, 이거, 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 America, Taji, you just the for the sake of the world's elevation. Then our nation, our America, never collapse. Not like Rome. This is a very, very important top secret. Huh? That's why this Christianity only think, think their own religion, their own our national ideology. And then God, what he did? Heavenly, Heavenly Father struck the Christianity through the uh, Renaissance, uh, Renaissance. And then, you know, then about the Reformation, religious re, uh, Reformation, and then Martin Luther uh, uh, came out. He really insisted on the religious re Reformation. Wow. Can you imagine about that? was the purpose of the religious reformation. Christianity need to serve the world, not just for your own religion. What's the purpose of Christianity? Need to serve other religion. Need to serve the world. Your identification as a Christianity is like that. We need to know about this boy. This one we learn from Christianity. Father saying, I'm not saying. Father is saying like that. That's why what is America goal? Day and night thing. Do not think just only for America. We need to raise a GPA member to serve the world. We need to send the missionary entire world. Then we can find our own, own identification. What's the GPA? What's our second generation? Who are plus family? We can know very clearly my identification. If American, uh, our American, our plus family, this kind of the concept about the worldwide concept, I am telling you, America become center of the world center of the world father said oh no a new reformist group emerged among christian believers during this uh, period of uh, of evil when heaven struck a group within the rome catholic church the reformist group which was uh, persecuted by them, gathered and formed the Protestant movement with Martin Luther as their leader. The, uh, the uh, Puritans uh, who inherited a Protestant spirit went to America and pioneered, pioneered a new continental civilization. Thus, they established the worldwide Christian kingdom. Wow. My brothers and sisters, how to build unification kingdom? How to build unification kingdom? America, America need to solve the world. Otherwise, from the unificationist, from second generation to third generation, someday they will appear. Our unification need to reform again. Surely there comes a descendant, surely will appear. Because we have a wrong concept, wrong direction, wrong vision. We need to know our American brothers and sisters. Do not raise up your second generation, your children. You need to tell them from the baby time. Need to go to the world, go to Africa. Go to India, go to Nepal, go to somewhere to solve the world. That is, a, that is the best way to giving the vision to our second generation, third generation, America youth. Wow, that's why I really, Father's word is really amazing. We can learn through the Christianity. <laughs> Father said, so far, Religious have developed a movement 
for social welfare centering on their organizations or religious group. However, they never developed a movement with the sovereignty on the worldwide level, beyond the national level. Key here. Why they are limited? Because they only focus on their own national level. Ne you know, only, no, only na nationalist, only think by nation. This is the problem. Father said, however, they never developed a movement with the sovereignty on the worldwide level, beyond the national level, beyond America. We need to serve the worldwide providence. Then I think America, as long as we, as long as we have that kind of vision and idea, I am telling you, America, incredible hope. God poured down Holy Spirit. You got a right track, right direction. You can meet golden age. When there was a golden age of the certain religion, it was only centered on their religion. No one has yet created a golden age of a golden age for his religion, nation, and world based on unity among the three: church fortune, national fortune, and heavenly fortune. Even, uh, even though certain religion was assured in their golden age, they could not transcend national level fortune. Oh my God. Father said what? We must greet golden age based on realm where there is a unity among the element of Trinity. There are three kinds of Trinity, okay? First, formation Trinity is what? Individual is a formation, family is a growth, and then tribe is a completion. This is a formation stage of Trinity. Then what's the second stage of Trinity? Family become formation, your tribe become a growth, and your nation become completion. And then what's the final completion stage of Trinity? Your tribe become formation, your nation become growth stage, the world become completion stage. That's why purpose of tribal messiahship, you know, to restore one nation. You know, what's the purpose of the national restoration? For the sake of the world restoration. That's why for me, everything world. How can our, our America serving the world? Then we can greet a golden age. When was my golden age? When is my golden age? When will be my golden age? Now and here. If you live together with God, you are bound to live in golden age throughout your life, in eternity, whether it is your past or your present or your future. When is your golden age? Now and here. Centering on true model. Aju, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Young. Another full container of <laughs> your guidance. Um, yeah, a lot to digest. So let's jump into our breakouts. Uh, five minutes to just share any takeaway or insights, and then we'll come back for one representative and then uh, closing prayer. So please enjoy your breakouts. And those who are listening also, uh, take this time to reflect on what were some points that you took away from this morning's devotion.
Oh, God selected Mary today, Mary Robles, to share uh, her reflection on the devotion. Thank you. Oh, thank you, President Nankimi. Uh, yes, I was so moved just to um, realize, you know, the man, when America was at a bigger or greater point in, in that we were thinking more about the world and being involved in worldwide efforts. We lost that vision. We really declined. And now it's so exciting to know that this is absolutely the direction we need to go beyond our nation to the world. Mm. I was so excited to hear about the whole concept of <laughs> our young people out as missionaries and no. plant that seed early. No. So it, um, yeah, absolutely. We must think so much bigger. And when you get beyond yourself, then real joy comes. I mean, you, mm. Yeah, you really understand. Thank you. Yeah, the joy comes. So, thank, thank you, you so Mary much. Helen. Thank you, Mary Helen. <laughs> thank you, Mary. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was also reflecting on um, really America. Uh, if we're to really live up to God's expectation, we need to serve the world. Um, and I feel one of the best ways we can do that is mm -hmm. to instill a sense of um, missionary spirit among our next generation uh, mm -hmm. and that is our, our plan and I think that would make true parents and God so happy uh, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and it'll also make America proud uh, really serving serving the world in that way so mm -hmm. I see that coming so the next seven years it's going to be <laughs> a really exciting time um, yeah. so please uh, work with us to, to, to live into the enter the golden age together you know mm -hmm. we don't want to watch over the river the the canaan and not be able to enter <laughs> we want to go into canaan together so let's not give up hope and really see this as a fresh opportunity uh to go forward together do not abandon me okay let's go together <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you want to be a victorious moses dr yo so you want to go together so uh with that i'd like to invite up um Let's see, why don't we invite up Rina Kanazawa? Could you uh, offer a closing prayer for us? Sure, thank you. Please join me in prayer. Dearest Heavenly Parents and our beloved true parents, thank you so much for this opportunity that we could be here together to listen to morning devotion and to redetermine together as a family um, of how we want to move forward as a nation in America in this important time. Father, um, there's a lot of emphasis on our second generation and the future that we can take for this important time. And I pray, God, that you could really um, stretch and grow our faith to be the people that we need to be um, at this time and that um, we could overcome all these challenges that we are facing and that we could really unite with our true mother um, regardless of how difficult it may be. I pray that you could inspire our youth and um, with the help of our first gens and the inspiration that they continuously give us that we can be um, the next generation to raise up America and really accomplish the goals that our true parents have fought so hard for um, we're so grateful and we're so moved every day by morning devotion and we're, we can't be even more grateful for Dr. Young for being here at this time to inspire us with these words. I pray God for all the determination that we are making now that it could really come through and follow through with our words and that we could continue to fight and um, this really important war that we are in right now. So um, we thank you, God, for today and for every day that will come for the next six years um, for this time. I pray and offer this in my name, Reina Kanazawa, daughter Kiko, hear me, Kanazawa, bless and show family. Aju. 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 Thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Thank prayer. Yeah, have a beautiful day, wonderful day, and we'll see you thank right you. after you. Thank 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 you.